All right, I'm gonna try this one more time. Today we're gonna to do a speed test of the crystal language against Ruby, C, C doesn't have a website, so we're just on Wikipedia, <laughs> and Python. So I'll show you what we're looking at. Basically, I have three different programs. Fortunately, the crystal program is actually close enough to Ruby where it will run a little background uh, before I go into all this, Crystal is a newer language which is heavily based off of Ruby and it's compiled. It's meant to be, quote, slick as Ruby, fast as C. So I guess we're gonna be testing that today. Let's jump to Python and I'll explain to you what the test is. So here I have a list of a ton of randomly generated numbers. We have, sorry, I have it written down here. We have 9,955, and those are all random, and there are no duplicates. That's why it's such a random number. I had it generate 10,000 and then just remove the duplicates. So we have all these numbers, and it's in an array. This is the same throughout each language. It's in an array, and what we do is we go through and we try and sort all of them from least to greatest. And this is using the bubble sort algorithm, so it is incredibly slow but that was the point, right? Because we're doing a, a timed speed test. So I'm, I'm just gonna walk you through the code quickly. You can skip ahead if you don't really wanna see this, but basically in each language we have a defined, a sort function. And what it does first is it creates a Boolean called sorted, sets it to false. And then while the list is not sorted, so while sorted is equal to false, it's gonna loop through this a bunch of times. So it's gonna set sorted equal to true, and I'll explain why in a second. And then we loop through the whole list, so this whole list, and we see if the first element we're looking at is greater than the second element. And if so, we swap it, and then we set sorted equal to false, because then we know that the list was not in fact sorted. So then it tries to loop again, but then it checks to see if sorted is false, because we have this not, and of course, sorted will be false this first time. So it will run this again, and it'll keep doing it until it doesn't actually run this code, and that means that it's sorted, and then it'll exit. So we don't have it printing anything because it's kind of unnecessary. It's the same thing in C, of course, just different syntax, and then obviously, same with crystal, just different syntax. So then I got this speed test online. This is by this guy on Stack Overflow. Basically, there's a command in Unix called time and if you type in time and then you run something it'll tell you the amount of time that it takes to actually run it so what this program does is it runs it 10 times and then it takes the average of all of those times so it'll give you a more reliable result so let's take a look at this first i'm going to give my predictions i think c will be first crystal will be second ruby will be third and python will be fourth I'm actually not so sure about Ruby and Python. I think they'll be pretty close, but we'll see. All right, so we have all these files in here. Of course, this is our crystal test, C test, Python test, and we're just gonna be using this test for Ruby as well. So I think first, let's do Python. <laughs> this is gonna take a while, so I'll have to skip through it, but of course, dot slash speed test, and then we do Python pytest.py, and I'll come back to you when this is finished. All right, look at that. Here are our results for Python. We have, we're just gonna look at real time. Just a super brief overview. This is almost like CPU time, and this is basically like kernel time. But real time is if I had a stopwatch in my hand, I press start, and I press stop once it was done. So that means among running it 10 times, the average was about 20 seconds. So I just have Vim open here, and we're just gonna paste all these in. And next, let's check out Ruby. All right, so for Ruby, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. Uh, once again, I just wanna mention that Crystal and Ruby are not the same languages. It's purely a coincidence that the Ruby interpreter can fully understand the Crystal program I wrote, but there are some cases where that won't happen, so just be wary of that. We're gonna run Ruby and then crtest.cr. And I'll come back to you when this is complete. Peter's heating up. <laughs> it's a lot going on for an ultra buck. All right, and look at that. We have our results for Ruby. So we're looking at a little more than seven and a half seconds. So let's also paste this into them. And next we're gonna do C. 
I want to leave Crystal for last. So then we're going to check out the C program. First, we actually have to compile this, almost forgot. So we're going to do GCC, C test, dash O, C test. And it's compiled. <laughs> C's pretty quick, uh, even to compile. So I'm expecting I won't even have to cut this out because it'll finish so fast. Yeah. <laughs> So that was maybe 15 seconds? No, because it ran 10 times is about five seconds. This is the average. So then let's look at Crystal. Let's just recap uh, and take a look at how fast C actually was. So that is crazy fast. It took less than half a second in order to run it one time. So if I actually just run it once, you'll see you probably won't even notice any delay with me pressing enter. Oh, you did, tiny little bit, <laughs> but still, very, very, very fast. All right, let's check out Crystal. So the other amazing thing with Crystal, even if it's a little bit slower than C, is it has way more features than C. Like you can do object-oriented programming, you can have arrays with different data types in it. It's just a very impressive language, even if it's not as fast as C. I think that was a really bold claim that they made in the tagline, but let's see. So in order to compile it, because if we just do uh, crystal and then the name it will compile and then run but the issue is when we run it it'll be considering compile time and that's just not fair so let's compile it we're gonna do crystal build cr test.cr and then you'll see we have another file in here and that will allow us to run it so just as before dot slash speed test and then dot slash cr test and fingers crossed for crystal Wow. So not quite as fast as C, but it's still very, very fast for a language that is very readable and has plenty of really cool features. So let's just recap here. So we're looking at Python with a time of just over 20 and a half seconds per run. And then we have Ruby with a time of just over seven and a half seconds per run. So then we're looking at C with a time of just under half a second per run, and then Crystal with a time of just over three and a half seconds per run. Before people get the wrong idea, I just want to note that different programming languages are good at different things, so there actually might be a case where Crystal is faster than C. I have heard that that is true and that is possible. I wrote this simple test because honestly I couldn't write anything that was slower. <laughs> So this is what we went with, but I just want to say I'm a big fan of the Crystal language. I think it's going places, and it is quite fast compared to these other languages, but it's not as fast as C, once again, in this isolated circumstance. If you want to try this out on your own, I have a repository that has all of my programs that are used for these YouTube tutorials, and in speed test, you can find the C program, the Crystal and Ruby program, the Python program, as well as the speed test. Once again, I want to note, I did not write the speed test. That was written by this guy on Stack Overflow. If you want to find the answer, you can jump in here. But once again, that's on my GitHub. You can take a look. And another quick note, if you are on a Unix-like system, in order to actually run this program here, you're going to have to make it executable. So if you don't plan on doing this, you can just ignore this part, but you would do chmod plus x and then the name of the file which is speedtest.sh and that allows you to actually run it so there isn't a whole lot more to it but if you have any questions as always please leave them down below i definitely look forward to making more videos like this in the future i think crystal is a really cool concept and i definitely want to jump on early and, and really get into it and learn it well so thank you for watching and be safe